Hey everyone, it's Ryan, and this week we're going to be talking about operational KPIs. These are the key performance indicators, the metrics that you need to be watching on a regular basis for your operations. So in the past, the last couple of blog posts, we've talked about sales and marketing KPIs, and we've talked about HR and finance KPIs. Today, we're going to wrap up with ops KPIs. So you may be saying, why do we need KPIs? Why do we need scorecards? Well, I will tell you, there's an old saying that I really like, and it says, what gets measured gets improved. And I believe that 100%. Once you start measuring, you will see improvement. Another story that I really like, one of my favorites, uh, is about Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab, in, in the early 1900s, owned several companies. One of the biggest was called Bethlehem Steel. And this was a steel plant, a steel manufacturer. They had lots of plants all over the country. And he had a problem with one of the plants. One of the plants just simply couldn't produce as much steel as the other plants. So the, the way it worked, you had three shifts a day and the shifts would produce heats. They basically would see how many heats they could do. And this plant never produced as many heats as the other plants. So Schwab asked his managers, what can we do? And they said, there, there's nothing we can do. We've done everything. We've tried everything we know. And this plant is just not going to be a top performing plant. He got very frustrated. So he visited the plant, talked to some of the people, and as he was there, uh, it came time for the day shift to leave. So as they were leaving, he asked somebody who was leaving, he said, how many heats did, did the day shift do today? And the person said, four. They did four heats. So Schwab took a giant piece of chalk and wrote a giant number four on the floor. Then Schwab left, and uh, the night shift crew came on, and they asked as they were coming in, they said, what's the big four on the floor? What, what's that number four? And they said, oh, well, that's how many heats the day shift produced. Well, the next morning, when the next shift was coming in, there was a big, uh, a big mark where the four had been. It had been a race, and there was now a big six. Well, some competition set in. It didn't take long. That, that plant was producing seven, eight, nine heats per shift. And before long, that was one of the, the uh, most productive plants in Bethlehem Steel. So it just goes to show you how measuring can lead to improvement. Another thing that measuring can do, it can also lead to uh, better predicting. We talk a lot in EOS about predicting short-term predicting and long-term predicting. A weekly scorecard goes a long way to help you uh, start seeing trends and start predicting the future a little bit in your business. So what are some of the KPIs from an operational standpoint that you could track? Well, every industry, every business is a little bit different. And uh, obviously, you'll need to make sure you find metrics that are meaningful to you. And don't get discouraged. A lot of times, the first uh, round or two, people are still kind of tweaking their metrics to find out what works and what doesn't. So don't expect to get this right on the first time. But I'm here to help you get as close to right as we can. Some that I see at clients a lot, some of the, some of the operational KPIs that pop up from time to time. Production units. If you're a, a manufacturer, this, is, this could be one that you want to track. Things like number of errors that you, that you make, customer complaints, how much waste. You know, overtime is a big deal. You could track overtime. How much overtime did we have last week? If you're a service-based business, thing like employee utilization is a big deal. You know, what's your target and are employees hitting it? So you could have a weekly uh, measurement for your employee utilization. Billable versus non-billable hours, that's a big deal if you're a service-based business. Response time, that's a big one. Uh, you know, in, in my former businesses, uh, our, our goal was customer service and we did, uh, we did IT. And response time was probably the biggest differentiator, what really set us apart from the competitors. So we started measuring this and we saw it get lower and lower and lower, which was our goal. Rework, that's a big one. How many errors that you're making and how much work has to be reworked. So these are just a few examples of some KPIs you can track on a weekly basis. Uh, for your scorecard. And if you have any questions, I'm here to help. Thank you.